Gabby, whose who's fault is it that you're here? Whose fault is it? It's mine. This morning, the jury will continue its deliberations until the Gabrielle Nestandi trial after a dramatic day in court yesterday. Nestandi took the stand and cried several times as she told her side of the story. The former Capitol staff worker is accused of the hit and run death of Courtney Griffin two years ago. Our Sophia Bosole is live outside of the Travis County Courthouse this morning with more. Hi, Sophia. Good morning, Brian and Sally. The jury didn't receive the case until 7 o'clock last night, and they deliberated for three hours without making a decision. Now, both sides gave emotional closing arguments after a tearful Nestandi took the stand in her own defense. Prosecutors say the evidence shows the former staff worker clearly had too much to drink before the crash. Nestandi's defense team says the prosecution didn't show that Nestandi was guilty of intoxication manslaughter of Courtney Griffin. Closing arguments came after a very long day in court and a standee clenched onto a tissue as she told her side of the story. How many drinks do you think you'd have? About four to five. Looking back, should you have driven after that? I felt fine. Now, this morning, we have our legal expert, Mindy Montford, with us. Good morning to you. So, in your opinion and from your experience, do you think Nastandi taking the stand is going to help her? I think in a case such as this, they had to put her on the stand. The jury wants to hear from her. They want to see that emotion that they did see. So, I think, in a sense, it, it did help her, but I don't think the defense had a choice. They definitely had to put her on the stand. And coming up, we're going to talk to our legal expert in regards to evidence of this case. Everyone's talking about it when it comes to the video and also the bar tabs. We'll have more coming up and you want to stick with us all morning long as we continue to cover this on KXAN.com and live right here downtown. Sophia Beausoleil, KXAN News. All right, thank you, Sophia. Of course, we've been following this case since day one when Austin police were called out to the scene of that hit and run. Here's just a quick look at the timeline of this case to get you familiar with it. Police got the call of the accident on the early morning hours of May 27th, 2011. Then police got a tip of a report of Gabrielle Nestandi's car. It was parked in a driveway and it had a broken windshield. Well, that was just one of the items shown as evidence in that trial. They brought it into the courtroom, the windshield. Now, she was was arrested later that morning at the state capitol where she worked as an administrative assistant for state representative Wayne Christian. Now, Standy was first charged with failing to stop and render aid and it wasn't until late October of last year when the DA pursued the additional charges of intoxication, manslaughter and manslaughter. She could face up to 20 years in prison if convicted.